Okay, so I'm gonna go help you at the board, okay? Okay. What grade are you in, Lucayla? <coughs> All right, so I kinda, they told me a little bit about your problem. Can you read your problem to me? Paul ordered 250 pens and 250 pencils to sell for a theater club fundraiser. The pens cost 11 cents more than the pens. If Paul's order cost 40, $42.50, Find the cost of each pen and pencil. Okay, so I kind of shorten that down to the board here, right? And I just want to make sure it's right. So he bought, she bought 250 pens and 250 pencils, and the pens cost more than the pencils. Yeah. Okay, great. And they, she spent 42.50 altogether, right? Um. Yeah. <coughs> okay, great. So what are we trying to figure out when we're done? We know we're done when we have found what? The variable. The variable, but even before the variable, like what are we trying to solve? Are we trying to find how many pounds of bananas somebody bought? What are we trying to figure out? Um, how many pens and pencils? Well, I know how many pens and pencils. She brought 250 pens and 250 pencils. I guess we're done, right? Yeah, I mean, no. No, we're not done. Think about it. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find not how many pens and pencils she brought, but it's really important to know what you're looking for when you start the problem, right? So we are looking for how much does each one cost? How much do the pens cost and how much do the pencils cost, okay? Okay. So you can't even start the problem so you know what you're looking for, right? Yeah. Okay, great. So we got some information that we already talked about. We know that it's 250 pens. We know it's 250 pencils. There's some other information that's going to help us out. I kind of like to call them clues in my class. What are the clues that they give us to help us solve this problem? Um, the pens are 11 cents for pencils. Yeah, pens are expensive, right? And there's one other piece of information we need to know. What is that? The total cost is 42 dollars and Love it. That's the total. Okay. All right. So now we got to get to the hard part. The easy part is finding your task and figuring out what to do. But I really want to say that a lot of times kids look at these problems and they're like, I have no idea where to start. The place to always start is underlining your task, figuring out what you're supposed to do, and then circling the information. Then you'd be surprised that you're like, it starts to come to you. So that's your first step when you get stumped. All right. So any idea how you want to start on this? You said something about a variable. I said, um, find the variable. So we want to find the variable. So what is it that we're trying to find? We're trying to find how much each pen costs and how much each pencil costs, right? Yeah. Okay. So I see here that pens cost 11 cents more than pencils, right? So which one's cheaper, a pen or a pencil? Uh, the pencil. A pencil. So what I like to do is I'm going to do my variable, and that's just me. I like to make my variable kind of the one if I know between the two prices that one's going to be cheaper. So I know that X is going to equal my pencil. So I'm defining my variable like you said, okay? Okay. All right. So now I know. Anytime I'm talking about X, I'm really talking about the price of a pencil, right? All right. What do we know about the pen? How does that compare to the pencil? It's 11 cents more. It's 11 cents more. So couldn't I say that if you know the price of the pencil and you add 11 cents, that would be the price of the pen? Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. So like uh, if I knew that the pencils were 10 cents, how much would the pen be? Uh, just 11 cents more. 11 cents more, right. So no matter what it is, we're going to add it to it. So you would add that to it. So this is actually kind of part of the hardest part. So now we're going to go back and look at the other clues that we have in here, right? We know that she brought 250 pens and 250 pencils, right? So let's just yeah. take it. 250. How would I say 250 pens? I'm not going to use the word pens anymore. I'm going to use a variable, right? 250 X, X right? We could have used a P, but we'll just go with an X. That's 250 pens. And then how am I going to say, I'm going to say 250 pencils, right? How am I going to talk about the pencil price? What do we say the pens, I'm sorry, the pens. What do we say the pens were going to be? 250 There's X. The 250 of them, but they're the price of a pencil plus 11 cents, right? So it's 250 times, and I'm going to put this whole thing in parentheses, X plus 0.11. All right, so this part here stands for the pencils, 
This part over here stands for the price of the pen. 250 pens, and the pens are the price of a pencil plus 11 cents, okay? And we know that this is going to equal our total, which is 42.50. You with me? Yeah. Okay, all right. Now what we gotta do is we just gotta simplify and solve. No big deal, right? No big deal at all. So I got a calculator. Are you allowed to use a calculator? Uh. I don't have one right now. Okay, well, I got one, so that's going to make life a lot easier for you, right? So we're going to take this problem down, and we need to use the distributive property here, right? So what's 250 times x? Um, 250x, right? And then we have to do 250 times 11. So I'm going to go to the calculator for that. I could do it the long way, but I don't have to because I have a calculator and you don't. So I get $27.50, $27.50, okay? I forgot to put my decimal in there, but trust me, it's $27.50. So I'm gonna bring the other part of the equation down, 250x plus 250x equals 42.50. So now we're gonna combine some like terms. What's 250x plus 250x? You have 250x's, uh, you have 250 more, you now have? 500. 500x's, awesome. And then I'm going to bring down the 2750, and it's going to equal 4250. All right, I'm hoping you got some good algebra skills. What's the next step? Um, what's the, you have to add it? We have to get rid of the plus 2750, right? We're going to take away 2750 from one side, and we're going to take away 2750 from the other side, okay? So we get 500x is equal to, and we have to do 4250 minus 2750. I'm not gonna use the calculator, that one's pretty easy, okay? So we get $15, 500 for $15. The last step that we need to do is we're gonna divide both sides by 500, right? And so we get X is equal to, and I know 15 divided by 500, if I would have put it in the calculator, but I've got a nice calculator mine, is 0.03. So it says x equals 0.03. So what does that mean, x equals 0.03? What does that mean in terms of the story? What do we say x stood for? If I go back up here. What was that? What's x stand for? It stands for the price of the pencil, right? Yeah. So 0.03 must be the price of the pencil is 0.03. So every pencil is going to equal 0.03. And then in order to get the pen price, what are we going to do to that number? Add 0.11. Add 0.11. And what is 3 cents plus 11 cents? 3 plus 11. You don't 14. need 14, yeah, we don't need a calculator. So the pencils are three cents and the pen price is 14. That is an amazing problem for a seventh grader to work on. Thanks for calling us up. I hope I helped you out.